Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today's topic in periodontics is osseo integration. So we keep implants in bonds to support the artificial processes or artificial tooth. So when we lose a tooth, we can keep an implant to support a tooth. Okay. So what happens when we place an implant in an empty socket? There should be a interlocking between this implant and the bone because sometimes it will be a lot bearing area such as in posterior region sometimes it will not be a much lot bearing area still there has to be a bonding between the bone and this implant otherwise what happens there will not be a good prognosis of the procedure ultimately this will get removed from the socket because of the implantitis or the fibrous uh, interlocking between these two if there is no proper interlocking there is no proper integration between the bone and the implant this will ultimately fail so today's topic is about the interlocking between this implant and the bone that is osseo integration that is the integration between bone and the implant surface so let's learn about osseo integration in detail So osseo integration is defined as a direct contact between a vital bone and the implant surface without interposition of a fibrous connective tissue. Okay. So the bone and the implant will be joined. If we face a problem of fibrous connective tissue which is known as fibro osseous integration. So that is fibro osseous integration. That is, there is no proper interlocking between these two. Instead of the bone joining, there will be a fibrous tissue which will not be adequate for to bear a masticatory force. So only these two are possible. One could be fibro osseous integration and the true integration that is the osseous integration okay osseo integration is nothing but as i told an intimate contact between the bone and implant without any non bone tissue between these two okay it's nothing but bone and implant so we have post surgical immobilization phase that is after the surgery or after we keep implant to a certain period we immobilize this that to allow the proper osseo integration and to avoid the post surgical complications so only bone cells may fill the gap and proliferate towards the implant surface so bone cells will be proliferating towards the implant surface so at the same time they may be expected to replace bone cells that have undergone necrosis as a result of surgical trauma so there will be a necrosis of the bone cells because of the surgical trauma so that also uh, will be replaced so bone grows around the ridges and grooves of the implant so implant will be having the, if this is implant there will be ridges and grooves okay this ridges this grooves and this ridges so there will be the growth of this bone towards the ridges and grooves of the implant so among the metals the titanium the titanium shows the best osseo integration compared to the other metals used for implant so titanium is the most preferred one so when titanium is placed in the bone there will be continuous remodeling of the bone occurs and also 
there will be interface which consists of titanium dioxide and a protein which is known as glycosaminoglycan okay and the nature of bone and implant interface which depends on the structure and nature of the bone of the recipient site a much higher degree of intimate contact with lamellar or mineralized bone may be expected when the implant is placed into a compact bone as compared to the cancellous bone okay so always the compact bone is good for implant rather than the cancellous one so this is the osseo integration concept that is a direct contact without any interface that is without any fibrous tissue between these two but what about fibro osseous integration it is nothing but uh, a contact established between the bone and implant with the interposition of a healthy dense collagenous tissue okay there will be collagenous tissue collagenous tissue is present in fibro osseous integration so uh, in this uh, soft tissue such as fibers and cells are seen between the implant and bone surface and such fibers tissue has been called as pseudo periodontal ligament actually this is not good for uh, implant which will not be very uh, good attachment apparatus as uh, we have seen in osseo integration so what are the factors affecting osseo integration that is uh, the biocompatibility of implant and the design of implant then the surface condition of implant and the bone condition the technique we use for surgery and the amount of stress on implant all these factors uh, affect the osseo integration process all these are good enough then there will be proper osseo integration okay so that's all about the osseo integration and fibro osseo integration so it's a small topic uh, but the implant and the surgical procedure is a very vast topic but this is commonly asked in uh, university exam so all you need to draw a nice picture and write about the two concept osseo integration and fibro osseo integration this is actually a pseudo periodontal ligament the proper one is osseo integration okay and don't forget about the titanium and the compact bone so i'll come up with a new topic in periodontics thank you and lastly guys we have started channel membership in dentistry and more channel so you can explore Uh, various uh, exclusive perks for the channel members so you can explore various options by clicking on the join button adjacent to subscribe button so we have options of uh, personal whatsapp uh, help so you can ask any doubts uh, you will get answered through whatsapp uh, text messages or uh, voice messages and we have one more option that is uh, the pdf notes will be available but as of now we have only the public health dentistry topic the more topics will be uploaded soon and the last option is one to one interaction session you will get the personal interaction or personal classes on uh, various subjects from the faculties of respective branches so explore the join button and let us know if you want any further help from us thank you